Hello and welcome to the Orchid Saga. So yeah, I'm sorry you guys, I did manage to do it again. I'm too late with this update. It's already December and this is a blooming update for the month of November. Yeah, it just happens. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, but uh, time uh, did go a bit quicker than I uh, and then uh, I thought it did. So then again, I'm a bit bit late, but anyhow. Uh, always a good excuse to uh, film some uh, some beautiful blooms, uh, I think. So let's start uh, doing this update and I'm starting as you can see in my orchid room. And I'm going to start with these beauties. They are still here, can you believe it? This is the uh, Alba, Pinocchio Alba. And this one is still the same bloom when I bought it, when I did repot it. And this is the White Lady, Paphiopedalum White Lady. I believe, or at least a cross with it. It's not 100% sure, but it is something with, uh, with light, a white lady in it. So those are those two, and you can see the beauty of this. There's already another bot farming there. So we will have this one uh, probably in the next update as well, which should be in also in December. <laughs> I will try my best, probably between uh, Christmas and uh, New, New Year's Eve. Uh, on New Year's Day, something like that. We uh, we will see how how that goes. But this is the uh, uh, the name. I know the name. Let me check. Where's the tag? Here is the tag. I'm sorry, you guys. Wilsonara in Inferno. Beautiful red, orange, rusty color which I uh, personally very, uh, very much like. Then here we have this beautiful No Idea, Odontoglossum type. Orchids, if you, uh, if you ask me, that's also from my last Landsbergen uh, haul. And then we have the uh, Carla. Also beautiful blooms. And I still am fighting the uh, aphids, as you can see. So I need to spray this one again. And I had some comments on that on aphids. People trying to help with uh, ladybugs, etc. And uh, more of that, uh, that type of advice, which I really appreciate. Uh, and also spraying my orchids, but because it's winter, so I cannot spray them completely because I will risk uh, quite. I, I will have a quite high chance for uh, rotting for new growth, etc. So therefore I don't spray them in the fall and winter. So I just look for them and spray them when uh, while I see them. It's just a little bit in between information. <laughs> Back to the blooms, but then you know how uh, and why they are still here. And how I battle them in these colder months. Isn't this a beauty? I love it. I love it. I love it. And I will something coral show you the tag maybe it's a little bit uh, has a bit of a different name but Biolara I'm not sure if that still is around but I have it as a Biolara it's beautiful the Maisei Reds you can see how many blooms this one has how many spikes this beautiful one I, I believe there are six spikes with some buds on there still as you can see and then they will open up and show this beautiful dark red color and so many blooms it's wonderful this spike is was the first one to open as you can see but still some blooms left then we have my oncidium who's been in bloom for quite uh, some months and now you can see it's going over these uh yeah at a certain point, of course, they will drop and fall off, but still, it's so beautiful. Beautiful, sh different shape, and the yellow is really very, very bright. It's a, it's a very beautiful, uh, and again, beautiful long spikes this one had. And then next to it, look at this one. It's absolutely crazy, but that's not in bloom yet. <laughs> This one is uh, done blooming, as we can see. But here we have the Peggy Root, still in uh, root, still uh, Peggy Root. 
I guess you pronounce it in, in bloom. Beautiful. Very, very lovely one as well. And uh, let me check. No, no more blooms there. My purpurata, Oncidium purpurata, still in bloom, but you can see it had his best days. It's going over now. And yes, of course, that happens. <laughs> but something is opening up over here. Look at all those little spikes. Obviously, you recognize them. Well, at least I think, <laughs> if you're into orchids for uh, for a, 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 quite some months, probably you already uh, will come across the twinkles on Cidium if you just start a hobby. It doesn't take long, I think. But these are uh, the twinkles. Let me zoom in. Look at that. Just starting to open up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I think this is the best year for my twinkles so far i had never had so many spikes on them this is the big yellow one and i think it's just opened this bloom and then we have the beautiful orange one orange brown one here so yeah this is going to be quite a show this year for the twinkles <clears throat> let me go here this is the new yellow Nelly Eiler. This is the spike it came with, so those are not my blooms, so to speak, but still beautiful. I'm so incredibly happy to, to have this in my collection. I love the yellows, as you probably know. Then we have the Swiss Beauty over here, which is almost done blooming. You can see now that the blooms are starting to fade, but it's been here for quite some months. Like I said, it's almost done now. Then an old Oncidium bloom that is also done, but we have something beautiful here. It's a no idea, so I cannot show you the tag, but this one is beautiful. And it has a second spike over here. Let me show you the blooms again. They are so beautiful. Well, actually, it has a name. I am sorry, I have a tag. I found a name. This is it. So you should look that up and then you will find this one. And I think it's only available in Europe as far as I know. But it is beautiful. And even my Sotuanum started to make some new spikes. It's already had 9, 10, 11 spikes. But it's uh, decided to put out a few more and then over here, I just, this is the best angle, I think this is, oh, I, I think a wild cat something, but I had it as a no idea, but beautiful, very, very bright yellow on those blooms, absolutely stunning, really, really enjoy this one very, very much. And I think normally the spice can be a bit long, but this one had a bit of trouble getting, a, or I had a bit of trouble to get it to start to grow a bit, a bit better. For some reason, I, I don't know why, but still it happened. Oops, there goes my event. Then we have this beautiful one, also no idea, but look at these blooms. With that beautiful yellow and white lip, and then those pinky purplish colors on the sepals and petals yeah i really enjoy this one it's such a special orchid i found it in the supermarket can you believe it <laughs> so also a no idea for this one uh let me check we still have my selogeny in bloom also a beautiful one very beautiful white with an orange on the lip. I'm sorry, I'm a bit shaky. But it's facing downward, so I need to lift it a little bit <laughs> to be able to show it to you guys. And next to it, one spike is going over, but the rest is still beautiful. Look at that. The beautiful orange and brown combination. I really, really enjoy this one as well, the color combination. 
And I have it as an anaglossum French town. Beautiful, isn't it? Then over here we still have that Miltonia in bloom. These blooms, as you can see, are now just starting to go over, but it's just opening up a new set of blooms. Look at that, so beautiful. So yeah, I'm really happy. This is the first time I uh, have a Miltoniopsis for the second time blooming in one uh, growing season. So that's something. And this is also my biggest. This one is doing very well. Becoming fairly large, this Miltonia. It's very beautiful. And if, whoops, before I forget again, I have some jewel orchids in bloom. Let me sit down on the floor a little bit so you can hopefully see the blooms. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. So yeah, we have some discoloration there on the leaves. I'm not very, very good at them, but still, this is the, the second one that I bought, and this is the first one, and they are still alive. They keep coming back, but as you can see in the middle, probably, I have a lot of new growths. So maybe this is just a habit, but those rusty colored leaves. But yeah, then again, they, they, they shoot out quite some bloom spike. So maybe this is just how they, how they do, but yeah. They are not really my favorite, I must admit. These are some gifts, so I did take some cuttings. That's why these are looking a little bit strange, but even those starting to spike. So yeah, we have quite a lot of spikes on the, on the jewel orchids, but hmm, yeah. Nice to have a few, but that's it for me. <laughs> I like the leaves, but I do prefer uh, this type of blooms. Large blooms. <laughs> yeah, uh, beautiful. Oops, before I forget, I have a Maxillaria bloom. Also, so I think that is the last one for in the orchid room. So let's go uh, into the greenhouse. And there we are in the greenhouse, and I still have a Bellina, Fetaliopsis Bellina blooming. Can you believe it? At this time, it's normally it's just too cold for them in the winter, but this one still managed to bloom. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then I have here still the uh, Lacaste in bloom, and some leaves are going over, so don't be. Uh, bothered with him. We still have those beautiful green uh, leaves. Those are the older ones. Or oh, frightened, I should say. Don't be bothered with him. Don't, be, uh, don't think the plant is not doing well because it still uh, is uh, beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, these are the uh, strange blooms. <laughs> and then you guys, look at this. There's so much to come with the uh, catacetum types. We did one this one did already bloom, that one as well, but this one is almost about blooming and this one is just starting to open up. Also two very large spikes, at least for my doing. I never had so many blooms on them. Absolutely stunning. And the fragrance on these guys is so beautiful. It's a little bit mild now because it's a very dull day. Not that late in the morning, but yeah, maybe if we have some sunshine, these, these really start to uh, put out a very nice fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Cenothes Twine, yeah, Twine Gold. I tried to read the tag from here, <laughs> but you probably recognize it. If you are into this, these types of orchids, this is a very common one, I believe. But nonetheless, beautiful. And next to it, next to it, see it's still blooming. <laughs> a very large fan. Uh, look at that. Beautiful blooms. Let me film it from a distance a little bit so we can have a better view of all those blooms. 18, I believe. I did count 18. So that's wonderful. Before I move to the other vendors, I obviously don't want to forget this one, the media, media Midas, sorry, Zelamin, Zel, Zelaminia Midas. 
Oh, I didn't do those names. But again, beautiful. Let me put this away. Beautiful yellow with these orange spot blooms. And he has another spike over there. As you can see, the first one is now going over from those blooms. There is the plant, the actual plant. But yeah, very beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that is over here. Yes, let's go back to the Venda. We just saw that one. And then look at this. This one is just opening up with very flash, uh, fresh blooms. The beautiful yellow one. These blooms have a tendency to uh, get even a bit bigger once they are opened. For about a week, I think, they start to, uh, to grow and become very, uh, very big. Or fairly big, I should say. But beautiful, isn't it? So yeah, two beautiful spikes on this one. Opening up about the same time, so that's nice. Uh, come on, camera. Yes, there they are. It's a little bit dark as far as I can see on my screen. <laughs> and next to it, we have still my white angel. But as you can see, that one is just about to go over. This spike is the best, I think I can let you see. Yeah, this one is just going over and you can see I need to spray this one. We have aphids, they found it. So, but this one is the oldest spike, as you can see the blooms are just going, uh, going over. And while we'll be up here, just turn around and you will see a very large spike there. Keeps on growing. But that's for another video. <laughs> We have a beautiful white Cattleya bloom. Well, actually, we have two. There's a little bit of yellow in that lip. I have no name for this one, sadly. But I do know, or I found it to be uh, very beautiful. Let's move over to this one. This one is fairly special to me because this is one of my oldest. Catleas, I think I have it for six, seven years, something like that. So you can imagine it be, it's been through quite some years, quite some uh, learning curves, <laughs> uh, me as a grower, but she did survive. So therefore, only therefore already it's very special, but the blooms I really enjoy as well. Beautiful, beautiful blooms. So yeah, I was figuring out semi-hydroponic, self-watering, so... I keep losing, I've kept losing the roots on this one because I had no, basically no idea what I was doing. But now I think we are doing so much better. And you can see this one has three, three blooms. So five in total, but doesn't that look beautiful? And then upstairs, <laughs> we have another neighbor and look at this one. It's, it's just open one bloom because I don't can give it the temperature it likes. So it's a little bit on the cold side for this one. But still, I managed to get one bloom on it. And we did a care collab on this one. If you don't forget, I will uh, put a link in. And back then I had a few more uh, blooms. And let me check the name. Binosa. Yeah, I have this as a Brasso Cattleya. Binosa probably has another name again already, but Binosa will should be the be the same. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful, beautiful contrast on that lip. So yeah. Then over here we start with a beautiful yellow fell. Still blooming. And then we have a cymbidium. One spike is now going over. It's been in bloom for quite a while, and look at this. What a massive spike this one had. Massive spikes, I should say. <laughs> Four in total. But yeah, like I said, there's always a time where they stop blooming one day. <laughs> yeah, these just do look fairly uh, fresh. Somehow, this one is missing a lip. Maybe I knocked it off. I probably did. I'm not sure. Because the rest does look fine, but... Maybe while watering my uh, fails, because it is a difficult job these days, I probably knocked, uh, knocked the, uh, the lip off. 
and we still have some blooms on the fells, of course, but of course, but as we just recently saw, there are way more coming, and they're still working on those spikes. Then let's go over here and look at this. Those blooms on the, those dendrobium fenoliopsis, those spikes are also very huge. And the colors are beautiful. This one has even four spikes. It has a fairly little small spike there, but in comparison to the, comparison to the rest of the spikes, these are very large. That's why it's almost, I have something underneath there, so it's not directly sitting on the ground. Otherwise, uh, it was, will get too cold, but it doesn't uh, fit in, in, uh, in the shelves anymore because it starts hitting basically everything. <laughs> so uh, because of the, these large spikes, I needed to put it on the floor. As for this one, as you can see, this is the uh, Blue Happiness. It does have two of those beautiful spikes. And we have some white blooms here in the back. Beautiful, very beautiful, I think. Berry Oda, blooming, making spikes. <laughs> and up here, the Thailand's black, also blooming. And it has a beautiful, sp beautiful spike going here, and we have one here. And it's working on this spike over here. It just opened the first bloom there. And then this one is really going over now, the curly one. Next to it, this is one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It starts, at, when it's just opened up, it's fairly yellow, but it has the beautiful greenish yellow stripes, as you can see here. And you can see it also here a little bit. That's very beautiful, I think. And before I forget, I do have a name for this one. Let me quickly show the tag. Oh, it's yellow puff. Uh, Dendrobium puff, 58 yellow fragrance. So it has a bit of a strange name, but <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. This one is still hanging in there. The blooms do not look so well, but it's still there. It has more freshly blooms here, as you can see, and then we have the purple happiness, also very, very, f for at least for in my care, very long spikes, maybe they can, uh, this one is, isn't that long, but this one is, I never had so many uh, blooms on one spike. So, and this one is just opened up. Uh, still opening up, I should say. I hope you can see that. It's not as clear. This is the polar fire. I think the background is a little bit too light for uh, put it in the frame nicely. But we will have a better look next time. Then we have this beauty. Also quite some spikes. And again, I see the black spots. Those are dead aphids. They have a live one there. Well, let's take that off. This is the Anna Green Splash. Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Anna Green Splash. And I do have the Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Anna Green, <laughs> who's also just starting to bloom. And that is this one. So you can see where the splash is coming from. This one is just uh, green with a purple lip. And also aphids. See here, there's no adult aphid. So yeah, but I did explain why I still have them. It's not that hard to get rid of them normally, <laughs> but yeah, when you cannot spray your plants like you should because of the colder days, yeah, then they stick around a little bit longer. But here you can see one more time the splash. This is uh, where the splash is coming from, I believe. A no ID. But beautiful. It's still blooming. It's been here for a while. Probably the first one to open up. It just keeps on blooming. Absolutely beautiful. 
Then we have the snow jade over here, which only has this one open. Yeah, it's just freshly open. Yeah, I'm sorry for the back lights. Well, actually, we see an older one there as well. It does get paler, but once it's just opened, it's just freshly opened, it's a bit more yellow, greenish. But yeah, the back light is a little bit uh, strong. I apologize, but there's no other way to film this. Then we have this beautiful brushia type in bloom. And we have another spike over there, as you can see. This is the green parrot. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very wonderful. Next to it, we have the Verona. This spike is over, but we have still some blooms over here. Absolutely beautiful. I think, at least. <laughs> and then down here we have this yellow one, and I just see, yeah, I noticed uh, last week something that it <laughs> decided to make another spike over here. But look at that, beautiful. And I see even some aphids on this one. I didn't saw them. There's, I need to spray again. But yeah, you can see beautiful blooms. Beautiful. Did I miss something in this corner? No. So let's move over to this section. Well, we still have some beautiful purple blooms on this one. And down here. Oops, let me sit down for a second so I can better film this and zoom in because the shape is so beautiful. And this is a bit of a creamy yellow one. And I don't see this color that much, that often. So it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful one. Let's move over there. What a strange shape, isn't it? But again, I found that to be uh, beautiful as well. Let me uh, go over to this Miltonia, this cross here. Isn't this beautiful? And no ID, but absolutely beautiful. It had the reddish color in the lip. So yeah, I see a lot of uh, sunset in it. That's why I just uh, put those next to, uh, this one next to the sunset. This is my more normal one, and this is the spotted one, and it just opened up a bloom. So let me see if you don't know what I'm talking about. A spotted sunset. Well, this is a spotted sunset. We, I, this one uh, almost every time gives spots on the petals, sepals. It doesn't matter that much. But yeah, it shouldn't do that. <laughs> but I like it nonetheless. And we have another spike there. So yeah, that's that one. And then over here, it's still in bloom, but starting to go over. This is my Peter Kamp. Isn't that a beauty? Look at that. Beautiful colors. And like I said, I'm just checking, checking, checking if I didn't forget something. Yes, I did. See, my spring eclipse just started to open up some blooms. Dendrobium phenolopsis spring eclipse. That's a very large one, as you can see. At least for me, it grew uh, very well. And I see more blooms over here, I did forget. How could I? How could I forget these beauties? Look. Look at this beauty. I'm sorry, I almost did forget. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't this? I really, really, really love these colors. And it's the uh, canary orange. Yes, Yairac canary orange. Brasso something, I think. If you really want to know the name, I cannot read it because there's a fern growing in front of it, which shouldn't be there. <laughs> but anyhow, let me know if you want to know a name from a specific orchid you saw in my videos. 
I try to put the names in here and there, but it does take sometimes a little bit too much time to put them all in. Beautiful, right? Um, just checking um, if I really didn't skip anything so far. Oh, yeah, of course. Look at this beautiful. This Epidendrum crush from Landsbergen just opening up her blooms. The first. The one next to it is still in bloom for a very long time. You can see the one from Landsbergen. It's a very large one. So yeah, we even have more blooms, you guys. Uh, checking again. I think now I really, really covered them all for this video. So um, yeah, again, a little bit late, this update, but never, uh, nonetheless, uh, it's still beautiful to film some, uh, some beautiful blooms, of course, like I said in the intro. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you saw something and you want to know the name, please let me know in the comment section and I'm happy to give it if I have the name. For now, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you to uh, the subscribers and especially, of course, the new ones. I really, really appreciate it. If you like it, please let a, uh, give it a thumbs up this video or other videos of mine, of course. And uh, thank you for watching and I really, really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.